Well spoken. Are they coming back over there? Here you are. And there you are. Wow. Uh -uh. How cool you are! Wow! Look at you! Wow! Wow! See you later! Bye bye! Bye bye! Okay, get ready. Here I go again. That's right. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, walk. Walk, walk. I heard that. So, I was just teaching them walk, 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 walk. And one of them learned it, and one of them learns that everybody learns it. But they didn't want to admit it because it might be a sign of social stigma to talk to humans, don't you know? Like with the Nande parakeets. And so one of them, two of them flew way off up the hill and while it was flying in, at a very safe distance from me, one of them, a kind of a macho raven, you know, he said, ah, she said, and, and speaking out loud, he said, ah, and then telepathically he says, she teaches us but she doesn't learn, know any raven at all. So I, I use the sign for water and it, and it signaled back telepathically. It says, all right, then she might know a little raven. <laughs> and so one of the raven that had just learned walk, walk, walk decided to say, I, was, I was all envy for the beautiful way they were flying around and spiraling. One of them was spiraling on a thermal and I was telling them how great they were, what great flyers. And the one that had learned walk, walk, walk went on up there to show its ability to fly, which of course I, which of course I admired very much. And as it flew up, it said, walk, walk, walk. <laughs> so continue with that Raven story about the walk, walk, walk. I came down to a shady area here and I thought I would just rest for a minute. And as I sat down to rest, I heard something a little bit like a snarl. So naturally, I was on the lookout. So I was just sitting there. And then the biggest raven came along and said, Walk! in the most stern and danger-producing voice. And two other ravens came along and, and very close. And they said the same thing. Walk! Walk! exclamation point walk and so I got up and I started walking very fast away and they followed me along and they urged me to walk faster walk 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 so I did walk very fast and then I said in case they weren't just playing games I said thank you very much thank you very much and then I said bye because back at my house, the ravens have learned how to say bye, bye, bye. And another raven said, bye. <laughs> They're pretty wild. They're not real used to human beings, but 
Maybe they warned me. On the telepathic plane, they said something really bad is going on over there sometimes. I don't know what it was. So a few more thoughts on that raven encounter. I was walking along after the walk, walk episode and the snarl. And I, I got to thinking about why the ravens were so, they scared me so, you know, they were so loud and so close, wow. And I heard the mother raven off in the distance, really different, very maternal, very loving, soft voiced, like in the case of the Nande parakeet babies and their, um, and their mothers, their teachers. Um, the babies are really loud and raucous and, and the mothers are ever so sweet and burbling and chirping and like that. And so, you know, I wondered why they teach their babies to be so, so loud, so scary. And at first, of course, I, I was thinking, but see, the mama raven was dreaming along with me. And I was, I was thinking and dreaming that maybe, maybe they had to teach them that way so that they would appear to be fierce and no one would attack them while they were still young ones, you know. Because it seems to me that in the raven clans, at least in uh, Cheeseboro Canyon, for instance, um, there's one great leader of the clan, an ancient, very wise raven, the eldest one. Then there are lots of people in the clan, lots of raven people. And then there are the young ones that are just learning to talk. And it's the eldest that is teaching them to talk most of the time because they can't go on the great hawk soars. You know, in, in Cheeseboro Canyon, the hawk soars way high and the fights are high, high up in the atmosphere. And so the babies can't go there. So they're left with the elder, the eldest, the ancient one. And, and, and he teaches them how many hawks, you know, there are and, and things like that. So, so anyway, in this case, it's a different situation, it seems. There's a group of, a group of um, ravens and there's some fully grown and then there's some young ones and it's a very successful group of ravens and then there's the mama who's very sweet and no doubt there are other mamas too but those young ones there they were in her charge so it may be communal charge of the young and she had told them she said in my raven speak dream she told them that uh, that they should they should talk very loud and then they chimed in, they said, to scare you, to get you to, to go fast, like they would any other animal, you know. So I got the feeling that the ravens, they think we're pretty dumb, like all the other animals, because we don't speak raven, don't you know? I can certainly understand that, because all around the world, the peoples of the human race, those that speak one language, without a doubt think that all the other peoples are pretty stupid because they don't speak that very language. And you can imagine the disparity between raven and hawk and all the bird languages and say the language of the young of the, of the young mountain lion which is maybe, maybe what I encountered and approaching our two mammals man and his dog. Gotta hang up. That's all Raven speak for now. Talk to you later. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars and so are you. See you at my website. Awakening with planet Earth. They're laughing at me over there. I don't know why. HTTPS colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com Dude, it's ravens. Stop. Wow. Soaring on the thermals. You guys are terrific. Look at you. Four ravens soaring on the thermals. Five. Whoa. Interspecies communication is just a little bit tough to establish at first, don't you know? But it's a rocky road, but it's worth it. <laughs>